This tutorial video will show you how to use the real-time features of QuoteWorks that are available with PC industry distributors DNH, Tech Data, Ingram Micro, and Cinex. The real-time module is an optional add-on available for the professional and corporate editions of QuoteWorks that enables you to retrieve real-time web pricing and availability from these distributors. This add-on module is purchased separately from the main QuoteWorks product and is enabled once you've obtained a license key for the real-time data module and entered it into the QuoteWorks license manager. You must also have an account set up with each distributor you wish to use with the real-time data module. For more information on how to contact these distributors to get the necessary login credentials for the real-time module, please refer to the real-time data module chapter in the QuoteWorks manual. Once you have the login information from the desired distributors, and you have acquired the real-time license, you'll need to add the license key to the license manager in QuoteWorks. Log into QuoteWorks as any user with master rights and select the Utilities License Manager menu. Click on Add License and enter the real-time data module license key and then close the license manager. You'll also want to restart QuoteWorks, although for the purposes of this tutorial, we will remain open. Once back in QuoteWorks, Select the Tools Options menu. Then click the Real Time tab. Here you'll find a tab for DNH, Ingram Micro, Tech Data, and Cinex. For DNH, you'll need to specify your user ID and password along with your preferred warehouse. We've already set the value for the default timeout field, so there's no need to change it unless there's a technical need to do so. On the Ingram Micro tab, you'll specify your region from the drop-down list along with your user ID, password, and preferred warehouse. Again, we've set a default timeout value for you, so unless there's a technical need, you can leave it as is. The Tech Data tab will contain the same information as the Ingram Micro tab, but will also include a setup button that's used for the online ordering module. The setup button will be grayed out unless there's an online ordering module license key installed in the license manager. We won't be covering the online ordering module in this tutorial, however, information on the online ordering module can be found in the online ordering chapter of the QuoteWorks manual. On the Cinex tab, you'll see the same fields for region, login ID, password, and preferred warehouse, but you'll also need to enter your customer ID that's provided by Cinex. You'll also want to fill out the FTP login user ID and password so you can take advantage of the FTP product database download feature that's available with Cinex. Please note that the FTP user login and password is not the same login that you use to log into the Cinex website, so you may need to contact your Cinex sales representative. You can find Cinex's contact information in the Linking to Cinex section of the QuoteWorks manual or on the Cinex website. By default, the price file name is your Cinex user account number with a .zip extension, so we can just leave it blank to take the default price file. In some cases, Cinex customers use a shared FTP file rather than their own specialized file. If this applies to you, then you'll need to enter that file name here. Again, default timeout values have already been specified for you, however, you still have the option to change them if you have a technical need to do so. Once you've filled out the tabs for the distributors, and you've set up the product databases for each vendor that you're working with, you're now ready to use the real-time module features. The real-time features can be accessed from several areas in QuoteWorks. Click on the Products, Lookup menu, or just click on the Products button on the QuoteWorks toolbar to open the Product Lookup window, and for example, select the Cinex products. Expand the items and then choose one of them. Right-click on it, and select the real-time pricing and availability menu option. If you click on the accept button, the cost list and availability numbers in the database will be updated with this real-time data. If you double-click the item, you'll see the add item assistant appear. Here you can also get real-time pricing and availability just as you would if you right-click the item. If you click on the Accept button, the cost and list numbers in the Add Item Assistant will be updated with this real-time data. If there's any optional items listed, you can right-click on each of the optional items to get a menu for the real-time pricing and availability. We can then add the items to our quote. Another area to access the real-time module features is through the Compare, 
best, and latest tools. Select the tools, compare prices between vendors menu, or click the compare button on the QuoteWorks toolbar to begin. Although we can compare the cost between any of the vendors listed here, we'll select only the ones that support the real-time features for this tutorial. Click OK, and this opens the vendor price comparison worksheet. You'll see each item in your quote, along with the prices of the items for each vendor that carries it. Click on the ellipsis button to the right of the D&H, Ingram Micro, Cinex, or Tech Data Price. This will display the real-time data window. If you click on the Accept button, the cost of the item listed in the comparison worksheet will be updated, as well as the availability listed here in the parentheses next to the cost. The number on the left corresponds to the availability from your preferred warehouse, while the number on the right corresponds to the availability from all warehouses. An advantage of shipping from your preferred warehouse is that the shipping charges would be lower since the product does not have to be shipped as far, and also in some cases you can pick up the items from the warehouse directly. Clicking on the lightning bolt icon on the toolbar will automatically get the real-time pricing data for the items. In this window, you also have the options to source the item from the vendor with the best cost. Or source the item from the vendor with the best cost who has the item in stock. Or source the item from the vendor with the best cost who has the item in stock at your preferred warehouse. You can also select all and deselect all items in this window. This button lets you export all of the information to the Windows clipboard so that you can paste the information into another application for further analysis if desired. When you make a change to an item in the price comparison worksheet, such as changing the vendor or updating the selected vendor's price with real-time pricing, a save icon will appear in the leftmost column. If you click on the save icon, the changes that you made will be applied to the line item back in the quote. If you do not click on the save icon, then any changes made to this item on the price comparison worksheet will not be applied to the quote. You can also click on the save button on the toolbar to save all or just the selected line items that have changed. Close this window and select the tools, refresh with latest pricing menu, or click the latest icon on the QuoteWorks toolbar. You'll be asked if you want to refresh the pricing using the offline database or the real-time data. This feature can be used to get the most up-to-date pricing on a new quote or to refresh the pricing on a previously saved quote. Now select the Tools Refresh with Best Pricing menu option or click the Best icon on the QuoteWorks toolbar. Select the Distributor Databases, click OK, and you'll then be asked if you want to refresh the pricing using the offline database or the real-time data. This feature will compare the price of an item across multiple vendors and update the item or items with the price and vendor that has the best price. For additional information on the real-time pricing and availability module, please feel free to review the real-time module chapter in the QuoteWorks manual.